Hello everyone, this is Kenny Bruni from Cambridge Tech. So in this series of videos, we are building a fully functional web application and we are looking at an inventory management system. Now, we are almost done with it, but then there are some few things we need to look out for. So I'm going to log in as an admin and for admin, we have admin one. And if I log in as admin, we work with the staff page over here, we can view every staff detail information we are able to add delete and edit as you can see over here. and we're able to see the orders that have been made by the various staff in our system now if i come back on today's dashboard we have this nicely looking graphs over here and so far it is just picking up static data so in this video we are going to look at how we can connect these graphs onto our database so that we can render data in a more dynamic way so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into vs code and show you so clearly let me close all these tabs all right so i'm going to go into dashboard my dashboard app and go into views.py and our index page is going to be where we are going to put out all these graphs and things that we need to see over here so as far as the logic for this goes, we are going to make this render or interpret the data we have with our products. And this is going to interpret the data we have with our orders. So the pie chart is for products and the bar graph is for orders. So I need to change some few things over here. So if I'm to come in here, we have orders being picked up over here, okay? We need to do same for product. So I'm going to say product is equal to, and I'm going to say products dot objects dot all. Okay, so this is actually in the index view. Okay, because that is where we are picking up this dashboard from. Then what I can do is inside my context dictionary over here, I can pass in. The products query set I just made and this is going to be products okay so I think I'm good to go now I have orders in here I have products in here I can come and change things over here to suit what I want so inside index.html and let me open this up very big so that we see everything happening over here so now as you can see this is just static data okay so for the pie we want to have i think this should be our orders so as far as our orders goes the label we can pass in our logic over here so we can put in a template tag over here and what i'm going to say is for order in orders then what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the for loop over here. So I'm going to say end n4. So what I can now do is I can pass in, and this is supposed to be a string, okay? So the label is supposed to be a string. So I can pass in data over here, and I'm going to say order dot name. I don't know if that is what I use over there. So let me go back into my my model and go and see so I have okay so I have order dot products dot name I need to use that relationship in here so I'm going to say order dot products dot name all right so when I do this and come back to come and refresh well first we are having some data over here but now it is gone now let's try and inspect this over here and see how things work so we come in here and i think in this div tag we have this over here so let's open things up over here all right so let's open it up and inside the script is where we are going to see things over here yeah so clearly we have the data showing up over here as far as the labels are concerned but then they are not showing inside what we see over here and that's because 
you are supposed to add a trailing comma to every item we have in here so i'm just going to leave this like this and just bring the trailing comma over here so if i do this and save and come and refresh now you can see that we have the items or the labels showing up over here okay and this is also showing up so clearly we have this and yeah so clearly we have this now what i'm going to do is the colors are beginning to run out i'll show you exactly what i'm talking about but what i need to do over here is to also put in the data dynamically and get rid of the static data i have over here so i'm also going to say or order in orders and i'm going to end the for loop over here and this is just integer data so i can do this and i'm going to say order dot i think the name i used over there was other quantity all right so i think i need to check i have order and order quantity over here good so if i come back and come and refresh we see that things are not beginning to show up over here because you probably might have done a mistake over here so as far as the data goes okay that one too i think we need to add a trailing comma over here and if i refresh i have this showing up over here as far as our data set is concerned now you can see that we run out of colors in here and let me just put out some few colors over here as well so let me just copy this Control c and paste this over here all right so these colors are repeating and doesn't look great so let me just randomly change some of the colors i have in here and let me just change this to So I'm just changing the colors over here and I'll be done soon. All right, so let me save this and if I come back to come and refresh. Yeah, we seem to have different color shades over here and it is good. So this is actually picking from our database and everything looks good. So now let's do same for products. So as far as the product goes, let me also copy this for the border colors over here. So control C. Okay, I think this is okay. So let's go to the products. So the product is also going to take the same logic as we represented up there so let me clear this and let me bring out the for loop over here so i'll say for products in products so for products in products and i'm going to end for over here for the labels okay so this is actually what we have over here for we use products over here so for products in products okay we end products and what i can do over here is i can put out this and what i'm going to say is um products dot name now bring the trailing comma over here let me check my models and see if i have yes yeah, so i have product dot name and i'm going to choose product or quantity for the other as well for the data so if i refresh 
we have the labels showing up over here so for the quantity to i just have to come in here and let me just copy this so i'll do a control c and do a control v over here remember this for the data so over here and just get rid of this let me clear this over here and i'll do products dot quantity and also don't forget to bring the trailing comma over here all right so when i refresh see that we have everything showing up over here as far as our products is concerned let me also change the colors i have over here let me just do this control c and so for the colors you are liberty to use any color grading shade or anything of your choice and i think um, i probably have to leave that one to you for you to try different colors and things of that sort but i'm just using this and trying to modify some few things over here all right so these are my colors and i think this is good so this is actually picking from the database now check this out we have a pen drive i mean pen drive is very small over here if i go to products and i think a yeah, pen drive is 10. so if i come to my dashboard pen drive is 10. Now i want to change pen drive to about let's say 500 so if i edit and change pen drive to 500 we are going to see pen drive move from what we have over here to about this point so we are going to go into products and this pen drive we are going to edit and for the quantity i'm going to say 500 so when i do updates now pen drive has a quantity of 500 so if i go back into my dashboard you can see that now pen drive has now has adjusted accordingly and this is what you want so you can see that everything is being picked from the database now oranges is thousand over here and let's try and change things so oranges we made a mistake it was supposed to 670 assumingly and if we come back here you can see that everything is beginning to take shape depending on the kind of data we have in our database so this is pretty much dynamic so this brings us to the end of this video now if you find this video very interesting there are a couple of ways you can help me grow my channel kindly subscribe to cambrotech and don't forget to hit on the notification button so that anytime i release a video you'll be duly notified also share this video with friends and family who will find this content very useful at cambrotech we say learn programming you can do it then also if you have any question contribution or suggestion kindly pass it out in the comment section below and i'll be glad to answer them or respond to them accordingly thank you very much and bye bye